What if I told you GPT-4 just got humiliated, not challenged, not slightly outperformed, completely dismantled? Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro didn't just raise the bar for AI development, it launched it into orbit. This model isn't another step forward, it's a jump into an entirely new dimension. Developers are stunned, tech leads are speechless, and competitors, they're already trying to catch up to a standard that didn't exist a few months ago. Because Gemini 2.5 Pro isn't writing code like a chatbot, it's building like a product engineer. From vague prompts, broken wireframes, or even YouTube videos, it constructs entire applications, not just code snippets, but full, production-ready React apps, API-connected backends, structured folders, and even inline documentation. And it doesn't stop when it's done. It checks for bugs, suggests improvements, and adapts based on your feedback, just like a real developer would. We're not talking theory here, we're talking real-world tests. Gemini doesn't just generate components, it reasons through architecture, handles ambiguous instructions with follow-up questions, and gives you usable, scalable solutions. Fast. In side-by-side -side comparisons with Quad 3.7 and GPT-4, Gemini consistently delivered cleaner code, better logic, and smarter structure. You say, build a dashboard, and where others give you a layout, Gemini builds the logic, pagination, error handling, component updates, and explains every decision as it goes. This is more than autocomplete on steroids. This is full-stack map planning and execution. And here's the twist. Gemini is not limited to code, it's multimodal. That means it can see, interpret, and act on visuals. Give it a screenshot of a clunky legacy admin panel, and it will rebuild the interface with modern frameworks like React, Flutter, or Angular. Accessible, responsive, optimized, all from a single image. But the real jaw dropper? Gemini can watch a YouTube tutorial and build the app it sees on screen, frame by frame. UI elements, front end, back end, complete with code explanations and clean implementation. It doesn't just watch, it comprehends. It turns passive media into working software. That's not a feature, that's a paradigm shift. Now imagine what that means for solo founders, designers, or non-coders. You don't need to know JavaScript. You don't need to configure a backend. You just need to explain your idea, upload a rough sketch, or point to a demo video, and Gemini builds it. That used to take a team. Now it takes a prompt. Gemini isn't just faster, it's smarter. Ask it to build a SaaS platform, and it doesn't just start coding. It plans. It maps out the phases. It picks the libraries. It sets up authentication, database models, and usage metrics, all before it touches a single component. And when you need changes, it remembers. Add that login modal from earlier, done. Switch the theme across pages, already handled. It remembers what you've built, keeps your decisions in mind, and builds in context, not isolation. It's optimizing. Give Gemini a code base and ask, what's slowing this down? It will find the bottlenecks, suggest targeted performance improvements, highlight security flaws, and offer specific refactors. You can approve and watch it implement the upgrades live. It's not guessing, it's reviewing like a senior developer. This level of reasoning is what separates Gemini from everything before it. Claude 3.7 can write good code. GPT-4 can solve programming challenges. But Gemini 2.5 Pro doesn't just output lines of code. It collaborates. It questions. It critiques. It builds, improves, and explains. The interaction feels less like prompting a model and more like pair programming with a genius junior developer who never gets tired. And that changes everything. For professional developers, Gemini becomes a forced multiplier. It handles the repetitive tasks, the scaffolding, the setup, freeing engineers to focus on the core logic and creative decisions. For startups, it cuts weeks of development time down to days. For solo entrepreneurs, it levels the playing field. You don't need a dev team anymore to launch a prototype. You need a vision and Gemini. And what happens when AI becomes better than the average developer? We're not there yet, but Gemini brings us dangerously close. This isn't just about writing code. 
It's about understanding product logic, user flow, best practices, and technical debt. It's about replacing hours of setup with minutes of insight, and we're already seeing it happen. Some developers are using Gemini to take client mockups and turn them into MVPs in a weekend. Others are feeding in legacy systems and getting modern, mobile-ready rebuilds without writing a line of code themselves. This isn't the future, this is now. And while GPT-4 remains a powerful model for general reasoning and text, Gemini 2.5 Pro is clearly built for one thing, building software like a machine that understands software. It's not just catching up with human ability, it's redefining what technical ability looks like. When fused with multimodal understanding, contextual memory, and real-time feedback, a year ago, AI helped us auto-complete a line of code. Today, it's planning projects, optimizing systems, and generating full apps from sketches and videos. That's not an improvement. That's a transformation. And Gemini 2.5 Pro is leading the charge. For developers, this is the moment to evolve. You're not being replaced. You're being upgraded. You become the architect, the strategist, the visionary, Gemini handles the build, you define the direction, and when that partnership clicks, the speed, quality, and scope of what you can build is unlike anything we've seen in tech before. Gemini 2.5 Pro isn't just another AI tool, it's a signal, a sign that we've crossed a threshold, from assisting development to co-authoring it, and for anyone in tech, that's the moment where everything changes, and if you found this as game-changing as we did, don't just watch the future unfold, be a part of it. Hit that like button and level up for more deep dives into the AI that's shaping tomorrow.